Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you a free sample from our YouTube Toolkit Pack. So let's check it out. Alright, so you can download that title by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work. So right now we've used the pop-in font, which is a free Google font. Just select all the font file and then double click on it to prompt open the window for installing them. And then you can just double click on the DRFX file to install the title. You can just click install and now your title is installed. Then we can go over to DaVinci Resolve, to the effect library, down to title, and here we have Video Editor Studio. You can just search for sample, and then you will have all the sample that you may already have from us, plus the YouTube Toolkit sample. You can then just take it and drag it here in your timeline, and now we can play it. But as you can see, it doesn't play right away at 24 FPS, so just pro tip to render your cache. Depending on how powerful your computer is, you can just go right here, and here you can just select show all video frame, and then you can go over to playback, and here in render cache, you can just select user. Now it just bring that red bar, and as you can see here, if we play it now, the title become blue, and that means that now the cache is rendered, and now we can fully play it at 24 FPS. I would recommend to do that for any title that you're using, even your own that you're creating, because it will really help to get real-time playback directly in the edit page. You can extend and reduce this sample as much as you want. It will retain the animation in and the animation out, and it will work with any FPS and any horizontal resolution. If you want to use it for short reel or TikTok on the vertical format, it's not going to work automatically because here, as you can see, it's just going to be stretched a little bit. We're going to need just to do a quick workaround. The best way to go about it is just to go here in the timeline view option. Here, we're just going to activate it the timeline tabs and we're just going to create a new tab. Just create a new default timeline. So here, that's just going to be an HD timeline. We're going to drag our title in it and then we're just gonna create a new compound clip. And now we can just easily copy it, go to timeline two and here paste it. And now it will not be the form anymore. And here we can adjust the size and the position. If down the line you want to make any modification to your title, you can just click to open in timeline and here just make the modification as usual and then go back to your vertical and the change would have been made. As for now to my knowledge there is no way to create title that will automatically adapt to vertical and horizontal so that's just a workaround if you want to make it work for vertical. Right now let's just go back to our main timeline and see what we can do here in the inspector. So the first cool functionality is that here as you can see by default the animation in is one second and a half but we could change that and make it three seconds if we want. And now if we play it, as you can see, the animation is twice longer. You can adjust this from 0.5 second to five seconds. If you want to reset any parameter, you can just double click on it and it will just reset that to the default parameter of the title. We can then adjust the size and position. So here I could just reduce it and put it on a corner, for example, by adjusting that position. I then have control here over the rectangle. So here by default, the color are red and gray to just match YouTube colors. But if you so desire, you could change those color and here select, for example, blue and green, for example, and those change will be reflected here. Again, if you want to reset by default, just double click on the parameter. You could remove completely the box here by adjusting the level. You could adjust the soft edges of that box and you could adjust here the border width to make it bigger or smaller. We could also transform that box into an outline by here unticking the solid and then increasing the border width. And now we have an outline instead of a box. Then in icon and text, we could change the text. So here, if you're just making video in another language, in Spanish or French or whatever, you could just adjust that right here and it will be reflected again over there. So here you can adjust the text box, you can adjust the font, the tracking, the line spacing, etc. And you have also control over the shadow behind the text. So here you could adjust the shadow strength, you could adjust the drop angle, and you could adjust the distance as well as the blur of the shadow if you want the shadow to be more diffuse or more solid. Then for the shadow control, I'm just going to bring a clip here to demonstrate. So this shadow control is the shadow behind the box. So here we could adjust again the strength of that shadow. We could adjust the drop angle of that shadow. We could adjust the drop distance, meaning the distance of the shadow relative to the object. And then we could adjust that blur to make it more diffuse or just more solid. Then we have the glow control. So here we could make that title glow by here increasing the gain. And then we could increase the glow size, so to make it more diffuse, for example. 
then we have the perspective so here we could adjust that perspective to make the title look a bit more 3d and for example be maybe more integrated into the video so here i'm just gonna adjust the angle a little bit and here by adjusting the position we could maybe pretend that this is just on the wall right there and if we play it as you can see it can be just a cool look to make the title a bit more integrated and a bit more 3d with the actual action in your video and here our last functionality is the background. So we have a pre-animated background. We could increase the opacity of that background here to one, which would be a solid, or we could just make it only at 0.5, for example, which just help to separate the title from the background, but we can still see what's going on. By default, this background got a slight fade-in animation, but we could just completely remove that animation by unticking that box. And here, as you can see, we just have the solid starting straight away from the beginning. We could adjust the width and the height of the background to only affect a certain area of the video. And here, if we click invert, we can just create a frame instead which could add as a frame if here we just bring the opacity to the maximum or could be simply a vignette so here i'm just gonna decrease this we're gonna just raise the corner radius to make it round and here we're just gonna increase the soft edge and now it just created a vignette on our video. And then the last thing is that you can choose between different animation out. So here you could choose to have none, zoom in, zoom out, rise up, sink down, pan left, pan right, and fade out. So that's just a great way, depending on where you have your title placed on the screen, to having it go out in a natural way. So for example, here, if that was placed in the center, probably zoom in or zoom out would be the best way to go about it. Because you can see, we'll just dissolve in the center of the video. But if we add the title here in the corner, we could choose to have sync down, for example, to have the title feel like it's just getting out of screen. So here, if we just place sync down, as you can see, we'll match that purpose pretty well. Oh, and one last thing, you don't have to change here the position uh, only in the inspector. You could do that also directly on screen. The way to do that would be to just go here, select Fusion Overlay, and now you have a bunch of control that you can adjust. So here we could adjust the global position of the title. We could adjust also the global position of the rectangle, or here, for example, the size of our vignette that we just created. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this sample. This is a title from our YouTube toolkit pack that you can find on our website that contains 30 YouTube titles for DaVinci Resolve. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.